Okay, everybody is about to be short and sweet and to the point. We're going to get into urine formation. I'm go ahead and bring up this slideshow now so we can jump right into it so you can see what we're talking about. What we're talking about is we're talking about basically there's three parts to urine formation. And if you can get these three parts, you can knock out the rest. But if you don't get these three parts, I don't care how much you memorize anything, you're going to be like straight struggling on this thing in a very painful way. Filtration, reabsorption, secretion, period. That's it. That's that's it in a nutshell. That is urine formation. And uh, does everything happen everywhere? No. And you can tell people who do not take the time out to learn where each one of these processes take place in the nephron because they're answering the same things for every question. And it turns out to be murderous. I mean, it's terrible. Okay. The first step to urine formation is filtration. Filtration is the process that gets all of this fluid out of the blood and into the nephrons in the first place. So you have to have something that's going to separate that, that, that solution, uh, that's going to separate that extracted fluid from the blood and put it into the nephron for the nephron to decide what's going to stay and what's going to leave. You got to have that process to kick it all off. So remember, filtration, step number one, it's going to happen in the Bowman's capsule right there with the glomeruli, all those capillaries, thanks to uh, blood pressure, um, capillary hydrostatic pressure. Um, because of those types of forces, it forces the fluid um, in the blood, out of the blood, and a lot of the dissolvable um, dissolved constituents and solutes, they follow suit and it winds up draining out of that Bowman's capsule, draining out of that renal capsule, uh, next into the, uh, proximal convoluted tubule. And there at the proximal convoluted tubule, the primary job of the proximal convoluted tubule is reabsorption, which reabsorption, remember the word reabsorption, re, the word, the word part re means to return. It's going, something's going back. So we're not just absorbing this stuff. We're reabsorbing it. We're putting something back in its place. If I am reabsorbing glucose, if I am reabsorbing water, if I am reabsorbing amino acids, that means that those things were originally mine, and now I'm taking them from that flow and putting them back into my body flow. Whereas tubular secretion is me taking something that I made something that I have, and I'm putting it and adding it to the flow. So with secretion, that is not me taking something out of the nephron and putting it back into the blood. It is the exact opposite. In secretion, I am taking something out of the blood and putting it directly into the renal tubule. And so secretion is a way of getting things into the urine that otherwise would not have gone into the urine due to the fact that it maybe possibly it didn't dissolve uh, well into the original fluids that became the filtrate in the renal corpuscle. Uh, a lot of times these are drugs and toxins and things like that that move through tubular secretion. So remember, filtration is how we get all of this substance, all of this fluid out of the blood and separate it into the nephron. Reabsorption is when we start looking through all of that and take you know the majority of that and put it back into the blood. Secretion is when we find some extra things in the blood that we don't want and we wind up moving it out of the blood and directly into the nephron without having to use filtration. And so this image is gonna look a little something like this. This image is the perfect image to kind of give you an idea of what's happening glomerular filtration, the movement of substances from the blood within the glomerulus into the capsular space. This happens due to blood pressure. You'll study later about something called GFR, which is glomerular filtration rate. It's the amount of filtrate that we meet, that we create over time. Anytime you hear the word rate, rate is always telling you that this is a certain amount of a substance that we are moving over a period of time. So filtration rate, that's how much filtrate we actually create over a certain period of time. Uh, once that filtrate hits the PCT and the descending and ascending limbs of the loop of Henle uh, or the nephron loop and into the DCT, that's when we get a chance to do a lot of tubular reabsorption. 
Um, we get to take things from that fluid and put it back into the bloodstream. We also get a chance to do tubular secretion, which is when we take things out of the bloodstream and put it back into the nephron. And that is the whole thing. I told you it's, it's so simple. It's so short, sweet, and to the point. All we're doing is we're snatching stuff out of the blood. We're throwing it into the nephron. The nephron immediately begins to pick this thing apart, uh, you know, aggressively reabsorbing everything back into the blood that we need and quickly moving out the filtrate uh, constituents that we don't need, lactic acid, um, extra uh, extra electrolytes, um, extra vitamins that we're not using, uh, other waste products, uh, you know, you like urea, and it's throwing all that stuff away, and it moves through the nephron and ultimately into the collecting duct, and then out of the collecting duct through the minor calyces and the major calyces and the renal pelvis, and out through the ureter, and then into the bladder, and then ultimately we'll void it out through the urethra and out into uh, outside of the body. But back to the nephron, this is all about separation. This whole process is separation, you know. We pulled, what they did was they pulled the whole crowd. They want to know who did it. They pulled the whole crowd into a room, all cr the whole crowd of people, and then said, okay, we're going to start rem removing, reabsorbing the innocent people from this room one by one until we get to the guilty party, the guilty culprit, the person who's up to no good, who started this whole mess. And that is what's happening in the nephron. So if you got any questions, just post them here. We'll start uh, getting to the point where we can, uh, you know, get to a lot of different people's questions. Um, hopefully we'll be able to answer a lot of things that you got. Um, we look forward to answering your questions on that. If you want to hear some more about a specific topic on the video, just let us know. Thanks a lot. We'll see you later.